next to me for the broadcast, the one and only Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Nice to be here with you. It's time for our tale of the tape. Introducing first, it's Riddick Big Daddy Bo. Six foot five, 240 pounds with a reach of 81 inches. And facing him, Riddick Bo. Here comes Riddick, Big Daddy Bo, the 1988 Olympic silver medalist, a two-time heavyweight champion, and one of the best inside fighting heavyweights there's ever been. Here comes Riddick Bo, the Big Daddy, despite being six foot five inches tall, one of the best inside fighting heavyweights there's ever been. Look at this. These fires are so up for it. Look at that. And with that, let's go into the ring and the Hall of Fame announcer himself, Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner from Brooklyn, New York. Here is the Olympic silver medalist and the two-time unified heavyweight champion of the world, Introducing Big Daddy Riddick Bo! Hiding out of the blue corner from Brooklyn, New York, here is the Olympic silver medalist and the two-time unified heavyweight champion of the world. Introducing Big Daddy Riddick Bo! What a pleasure it is to be here in this environment. What a venue. Here we go, round one. Who's going to land the first big shot? They are not going to let this one go to the judges. Beautiful counter shot. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. Nice counter shot. They both with the knockout. Welcome inside this unique environment, a beautiful theater, ready for a fist fight. For a fighter walking into a theater, I think this is the closest thing to fighting in a gym because the people are up close. You can hear people talking ringside. You can hear people jeering, saying how good you are, saying how bad you are. You can hear the pressure, the expectation. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He carries the right jab away. The fighter told us yesterday, if he doesn't win by knockout, he doesn't consider it a real victory. That's the mentality he has. How you deal with a slugger, you've got to use brain over ball. Ball in a match door, pop, jab, move, get the angle. Good counter punching for both these athletes. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Left up. And the big fella stumbling backwards. Oh, I heard that never by so. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as a fighter. And the tournament's got to put a firecracker on that fighter. Get up there and get the job done. Just take a big breath, and here we go again. Now, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. He blocks the hook. They both won a knockout, you can tell. An eye on this slugger as you know he's willing to take three to give one that's his game plan and it's worked out pretty well for him so far if you get in with a slugger they want to work at their own pace you speed frustrate and take them out of their comfort zone make them tired trip over on feet get 
the mind game. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. What is this fighter doing? There's nothing behind these punches. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Left counter was perfectly timed. And he misses with the left uppercut. here from both men. And a right. No power in those punches. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. The game plan does not seem to be working here. What's he have to do differently? Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're getting it. Kitchen sink. There's the bell for round three. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. Positives and negatives in the heavyweight division are the same. You can win the fight with one punch, and you can lose the fight in one punch. I've seen it so many times. One punch changes everything. I've seen guys winning hands down. They decide to showboat and show off them. Bam! It's over. So they've got to stay sharp. One punch changes everything. He misses with that jam. Step back for just a moment. Right when you think the pace will slow down, it picks up. This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart even though they were the one pushing the tempo? I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they would have punched. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Nice job landing that left counter punch. All three judges here are going to give that round to you know who. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. Here we go in round four. Who's going to land the first big shot? Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Both men step back for just a moment. They exchange punches. There's a right hand. Nice exchange here from both men. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protecting everything around us. Work the body, use tactics. Sometimes it's so hard to actually outbox a fight and beat them on points. 
Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. Right, a very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Without a doubt, Meg looks so, so easy. Back into the fray here in round five. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fight, we fight. You either give it and back because that's where they're comfortable. Oh, you play calm, play cool. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. <laughs> Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. This fighter is sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. When you have a fighter that's got that great footwork and that great hand speed, it's so hard. It's an uphill battle. What you've got to do, Tony, is anticipation. You've got to wait. You've got to, you've just got to throw caution for the win and just hope. You're never going to know where the shots are coming from. You've just got to put in the guess. There's that counter shot. Showing exceptional chins, by the way. Perfect counter shot. You can tell he's stronger. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. the momentum, they got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. On to the sixth round. That round was complete domination. Let's see if we can shake things up here in this round. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. This 
Spider is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them nonstop. Some fighters are just gifted. Gifted with such hand speed, footwork, movement. They are gifted. They are the chosen few. Missed him with that uppercut. they figure out the combination to this safe. He just misses with that big right hand. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. You hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in a the fight. They've got to relax. He threw the hook. Didn't. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Nice counter shot. He is down big time in the school. Wow, it's like two different leagues. Round seven, here we go. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt, you've got to get out there again. Be smart, be sharp. Don't be a fool, don't get suckered in. Make you fight, your fight. Hold him, tie him up, just until your head clears again, and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's gonna pop you off. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. He got out of the way of that right hook. they go neither fighter willing to back down this fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws and that's a very confident spot to be in the problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you you're hurt you're gone you've got to protect that you've also got to protect your shots off and they forget you can bang too because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin it means you can still get caught so you've got to go for those point areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them skin and go for speed. And he misses with that jab. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. No secret who has the advantage after that last round. Let's see what they have in store for us in the next one. You can't leave it up to the judges except for you as a fighter and a tournament's got to put a firecracker on that fighter. Get up there and get the job done. Time winding down as we get set to jump back in the action. Five. There's the bell for round eight. Coming off that great round, let's see if they can build on momentum here. He 
Magnus with that jab. You'd like to see more jabs. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? Don't get trigger happy because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot and that's when they catch you. When are we going to see a jab from these two? Good counter right hand again. These two are the perfect dance partner. Hey, those punches add up. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Catch and shoot. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. You've got to ruffle their feathers, Todd. You cannot let them get comfortable, drag them, get them complaining to the referee. Because once somebody with excellent foot speed and excellent power gets into the rhythm, the fight is over. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Punching from both these fighters. Well, he is glad to avoid that bend. The bell, sometimes it can be the sweetest sound. Let's see how much fatigue we see here in round nine. After stools and ready to go, let's hope this round is more competitive. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to block it. They've got to block it. They're going to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. They're counter punching. They won't give us a second to catch our breath. to score with that left hook. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It can all come down to who's in better shape. Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? Lands with the right counter. <laughs> Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. <laughs> Good counter punch. Nice exchange here from both men. Carries that left jab away. He just misses with that jab. Great. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Decided three minutes, we just saw it. Dominance, without a doubt, make it look so, so easy. No doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. You hear that old phrase, 
second win. You've got to find it somehow. Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we're going to find out. And he just missed with that left jab. Perfect counter lands. Both men step back for just a moment. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. The old adage is, no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. So you're getting in there with somebody that's so fast, you're prepared to take a lick it, because you've got to get some before you get in close. When you've got a fast fighter, they will cut you to ribbons, and they know it's a matter of time before either you get desperate or the referee jumps in and saves you. This is a natural gift. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Punch, counter punch. That bell could not have come soon enough for this guy. You know, I've been in fights right now. When you think you come up, bell, ring the way. You walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. The referee calling. This is the 11th. We've entered the championship rounds. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. Counter left hand there. And that jab just missed with the left hand. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them non-stop. This can be so frustrating. And you remember such a fast fighter. Fast fighter that can throw three, four shot combinations before you've even let one off. That creates frustration and that's when it gets hard. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. <laughs> Neither man really defending themselves. Good left counter that lands. He carries away that left hook. has been better than the defense. You can't score with that uppercut. That's, you know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Nice counter. And a round that seemed like eternity for them finally comes to a close. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose it. On to the 12th. 
Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This fighter is sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. Having so much speed, what happens to your opponent is you get cut to ribbons, and that's where the referee has to jump in and stop the fight. And you know this is going to happen, so you rush your work. You think, I've got to get him inside close rounds. And he blocks the left uppercut. Nice counter shot with the right hand. That punch landed. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want, because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there, toe to toe with them, and have a terror. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way. And they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Not the way either one of these fighters hoped it would go, but they can't be too upset. No one loses here. This fight's a draw. No complaints there at all. The crowd agree. I agree. The ref knew exactly what he was doing. So you know what? Great shout. I look forward to fight number two.